Okay, folks, it's the holiday and I got the breakfast for you. Listen, I'm finna show you a breakfast casserole that's on steroids. Let's get it. All right, so look, first thing we're gonna do is we finna hit bake. We finna preheat this to 350 degrees. We start it and now we create. So the base for me is gonna be my sausage, right? But you guys can start with bacon or whatever. But I can just tell you this, just pork, pork, what it does is it renders out something like incredible. And I got these maple flavored, you know, sausages. I'm building up my heat. I'm just gonna start off with it. Instead of it being just hot and sizzling, I'm just gonna start this way. So while my sausage is going ahead and rendering down and cooking, I'm getting ready to prep my veggies, right? So you can use whatever veggies you guys wanna use, but for myself, I'm gonna start with, the, you know, my red and my green. If you guys like a little spice, we gonna go ahead and, you know, go down with the uh, jalapeno. We gonna mince this really small. We gonna put some onion, and I'm gonna go ahead and make this really, really small too. How many of y'all use these? And tell me what this is down in the comment section below. As you can see, we cook these down. Look, I don't cook them all the way where they be super hard because we're gonna put them in the oven too, right? Don't forget, this is a casserole. So I'm just gonna take them off when they look like this. For those of you guys that like to have a little bit of that spice, right? You know what I mean? Uh, you can put whatever kind of heat you wanna put in here. You know what I mean? For me, I'm gonna put, you know, just one jalapeno. Obviously, I took all of the seeds out of that, right? But I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna do those too. You know, this other half, but just showing you that you guys got so many options. And that's what I want to read down in the comment section below. You know, like, what would you add? What would you take out? What type of peppers would you use? And all of that, right? So now I'm getting ready to go ahead and do my shallot. You know what I mean? So we're going to start cooking it a lot with these shallots. Shallot give it a nice, unique, you know, I, I don't, well, I say unique. It gives a good flavor, though. That's what I will say. And then, you know what? I don't want to cut myself, so I'm going to go ahead and just, you know what? Let's just make some room. Let's just get a re, a re you know, recut on it, right? So I'll just cut it like this. And then notice this. You notice how small I'm doing it? I want you guys to tell me down in the comment section below. When you dice small, what is that for? And when you dice, you know, a little bit larger, what is that? You guys let me know. Let's open it up. Let's learn. I'm not going to tell you right now, but I will answer the comments down at the bottom. If you got it right, I'll just go ahead and say correct. Now that you've seen everything done, we talked about the shallots. You see the jalapenos over here. I'm keeping it separate just for the visual effect. You know, the green the darker green, the lighter green of the bell pepper. Then we got the red, the shallots, and then we got onion, right? It doesn't make no difference if they all mix together because they all going in here. But I gotta say this, I'ma do it this way, the way I've been doing it. I put a medium flame underneath the bottom of here. There we go, I can feel a little heat. I'm getting ready to add my onions. I always give my onions a head start. Seems like they take the longest to do what they gonna do, right? Now I'm gonna use a hex clad, right? These pet pots and pans, listen, nothing sticks to them. But if you guys are using any other thing like that and you got that fond on the bottom, you know, from doing your, uh, you know, your sausages, don't worry, them onions, the ashes and that, clean that up right up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just add, you know, my red and my green. And if you look at it, look at the size. There's a little bit of a size difference. I want my green to be a little larger. Cause look, I'm thinking about my presentation. You know what I mean? We wanna have a little red in there. Don't forget, we finna add some eggs in here. So when you add the eggs, Everything kind of like just blends in with just certain type of color, certain yellow, right? So we add a little color and flavor. All right, so look at it right there because we finna go fast. Now, you see this right here? This is the jalapeno. I'm just getting this just to get a little bit of that, just to change the texture on the jalapeno. And it doesn't take much, folks. Just a little bit of heat. By the time I stir this and mix this in, I'm getting ready to do about 30 seconds with my shallots. And now once I put my shallots in, I'm getting ready to cut it off. Okay, folks, so this is what we finna do. I'm gonna take these, this sausage, right? Cause this got our, you know, our flavor, right? And I want you guys to notice one thing. If you look back over here, I want you guys to remember like, hey, I know some of y'all saying like, hey, did he, uh, did he even season that? I did not. Cause listen, I think that, I don't know, I'm gonna say the social media does it, but our tongue tells us that too, tells us also that when we put all of these different flavors in there, we use our favorite seasoning and all of that. Sometimes it tells us like, hey, that's the way to go. But listen, it's a combination when you are cooking, it's this right here. It's the, you know, the shallot, the jalapeno, the, you know, bell peppers, and whatever else you guys want to put in there. You know, the onion, that's flavor, and it's almost like it's seasoned right there. You know what I mean? Then we start, we started sauteing everything with our, uh, you know, our fat from the from this sausage right here. So listen, sometimes it is okay not to just overdo it and just trust it. You got to trust the process.
you see how we got that there then we got cheese i'm just gonna add a little bit of the cheese to it right now just a little bit right mozzarella just ties it all in together been in, the, in this bowl for a minute i'm gonna mix it all in there no worries but i start off like that now i'm getting ready to open up you know my tots we add these look at that right there right all right so then when i get it all mixed up look how it comes together right Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and just add our eggs. Now we're gonna go ahead with a little bit of that seasoning, right? We just add that. For me, since we're doing eggs, I'm gonna give it one, two, three. That was eight eggs, folks. You know what I mean? So let me go ahead and just get this mixed. And the rest is easy. Y'all bet y'all can finish this on your own right now. All right, so I got my 13 by nine. Let me move this here. I'm gonna drop this here so y'all can see it, right? I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little bit of a spray. And what we're gonna do is just add this inside of here. Look at the flavor. Well, I'm gonna say look at the color, to be honest with you. That's what I wanted to say. You know what I mean? When you look at that, you know what I mean? Mm. We just pour this over here like that. Remember, it's a liquid. It's gonna get everywhere in there. Okay, folks, so look, this is what you want to have. You want to make sure all of it is at least tied to like your egg mixture, right? Because listen, when that firms up, that's what's going to bind it all together, right? So listen, I'm going to go in the oven. We're going to go in there for about, I'm going to set a timer for one hour. It's probably going to take about an hour and 20 minutes. I'm not going to put no covering over the top. Remember, one hour, we're going to take a look at it. We're going to do the two toothpick tests and all of that. So stick this in like that. You see that right there? And then three, two, one. Now look, check this out. What you didn't see is, like I said, I was gonna turn it into a star. We did a photo shoot, and look at that right there. Uh, you know she's ready, right? Ready to hit that mainstream. So look, I'll let it sit up. It's probably gonna sit up for about 20 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, man, this is a big knife to be cutting that with. Let me go ahead and grab my little butter knife. You know what I mean? I'm gonna cut me a nice slice out of here. You know what I mean? Uh. All right, folks, you see, I done took it out, got cut myself a slice. I'm gonna say this right off the back, it's best served warm, you know what I mean? So when you make this, make sure you call everybody to the you know, breakfast table, and then you go ahead and eat. But I do wanna show you guys this right here. Y'all can go ahead and fight over that edge right there, cause that's him right there. But I'm gonna go ahead, and get me some of this right here. Cheers, y'all. Right off the back, as soon as I bit it, you know what I was thinking about? Cause I got some of that sausage too, but I was just thinking like, man, I sure wish I had some chicken or some turkey or something like that to add to it. You know, anything that I do, I do it like extra on the meaty side, right? So listen, talk to me down in the comment section below. Let me read, you know, all everybody's level ups. I'm gonna talk back to you. We figured that out. Don't forget, go by my uh, website, Smoking and Grilling with AB. That's W-I-T-A-B.com, right? Now, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out here. There's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. Now it's my time to grab myself some Kool-Aid. Don't judge and I'm out. Peace.